Fred, what I'd really like you to know is how important you have been to this entire family. I wrote a story about your mother and your birth, where she came home and I still will always remember her sitting there on the couch looking up at me and saying, Dad, you just can't believe how beautiful he is. When your mother was born, the doctor came to me and told me that uh, my daughter, your mother, might not live because she was so very small. And ever since then, she's been someone that's been very precious to me. And certainly, ever since you were born, you have been also. You are a very talented young man with great skills as a musician, as an artist, and lots of deep thinking. You write well. And with any kind of luck at all, you'll have a very, very long and successful life. You were the varsity. <laughs> Go on, Fever. Go. When you were very young, you were determined that you were going to be Ken Griffey Jr., but you were willing to let me be uh, Edgar Martinez. As a matter of fact, you've always had uh, a good imagination. Now that you are through with your first year of college, I know that you look forward to having some more very wonderful experiences as a person with a lot of musical talent, potential as a person with an interest in science, and a great social animal. Chris, one of the interesting things that I've found as I've grown to understand and learn you is just how at the one moment you can appear to be silent and not particularly communicative and at the next moment have deep insight into yourself and the people that are around you. So if you were like me? Yeah. The first thing that pops to my mind when I think of JJ is just how quick he is mentally, how fast he is to look at a situation. You now he's got a great sense of humor, and he's apt to pull off any kind of a funny story or whatever. It will be interesting to see over the next few years how you continue to develop as a person with a wide range of interests and abilities. JJ is mentally a very, very astute young man. extremely handsome young man with a great deal of potential as a musician. If he can put together his uh, personal good looks along with his musical talents and his ability to talk in a very articulate way, he will turn out to be a very big contributor to the life that his mother leads, that you lead and to the world in general. There's a lot of things I'd like to be able to. To say to Cecilia, who uh, starts life with a lot of challenges. Cecilia, as I think of you, I don't think 
that they're going to get you down. Oops, what happened here? <laughs> I lost my two front teeth. You lost your teeth. I think about you, Cecilia, his beauty, just because she's a beautiful young lady, the beauty that she sees in others around her, ability to reach out and find beauty. Daddy, how old is he? 76. I just pray that you can continue to live the kind of life that you started to live. No. You have all of the raw materials if the adults in your world just don't mess them up. So that's Aunt Melissa, and that's your daddy. Mm -hmm. Liliana, you're the last of uh, the uh, grandchildren, at least the last one that I will see, and you're a pepper. You're quick, always going to be about three steps ahead of those people that are around you, and you're going to do things your way. And anyone that spends time around you is going to have a livelier life and a better life for having spent that time with you. I think that's really the first thing that comes to mind is someone that is quick. She can get ahead of anyone that's around her. I guess I said everything. The overarching dream for all the grandchildren has to be the same, that they are able to survive a world that gets harsher and in fact to make it a better place. And I think they all have the potential in their own different ways of doing that. I guess I said everything. God. I guess I said everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't remember when it was. I can't remember when it was. I never made it around to see him when I was home in May. He was living at a roadside trailer park just north of town. Can't remember when it was the last time I saw Richard. And Richard wore the big white shirt of disillusion on his shoulder. Just maybe one regret.
everything's fine and then one day we'll take you everything's different and all just the same I said everything 